standing at the Devil's Tree with my friend Peter in Port St. Lucie, who is a rabid fan, who's helping to give the girls a voice. He was very reverent by all of this. My friend Peter, who I adore. Thank you. Family members, I mean. Yeah, I spoke to Susan Place, his niece. Oh, wow. I spoke to um, Carmen Halleck's sister-in-law. I spoke to Susan Place's brother. I have spoken to... Um, is, is he still a cop? Yes. One of the victim's brothers or brother-in-law. Um, and I don't know if he's still a cop or not. They live up in Michigan. After after this happened to Susan, they all left. Oh, okay. We are now walking down the path where Colette Goodenough and Barbara Ann Wilcox oh. were killed. Okay. And they were not killed at the Devil's Tree. That is an urban legend. But we are going to go to the spot where they were killed and left to be found by hunters. The area where Colette Goodenough and Barbara Ann Wilcox were found many years ago. Peter is walking into the area. They were killed 50 yards in by Gerard Schaefer. Young girls in the prime of their life who lost their lives because of evil. Peter is very touched by all of this. He is very sensitive to the carnage that Schaefer reaped upon these young women. He is paying tribute to the girls. My friend Peter. Like buried or cremated somewhere? Or I don't know. I know? can't find out where he is. I've have, looked. Have you uh, heard of a site called Find a Death? No. I mean, Find a Grave? No, I'll have to look that oh up. Oh my God. You can find out anybody. Uh, there's even a section on murdered uh, and... Um, Murdered and infamous, you know, most of his victims. Ooh. And Ted Bundy has a victim that stayed with me ever since I even started reading about him. Margaret Brown. She's buried in um, one of the Keys. Oh, really? And, and I have gone to her grave because for years it's just, you know. And then um, her family set up a trust fund for girls because she was very into the arts, mm -hmm. museum and all that. And, you know, they were well off, so they wanted to do something in her memory. But Monica Brown has always been, you know. And it's called Find a Grave? Find a Grave, yeah. I'll have to go on there and see if I can find Sh See, I don't know if Schaefer was buried at I Rayford. I looked at Schaefer's and there's nothing, there's nothing? Schaefer. That's interesting. But since you're that savvy and have connections, you can write them and find out why. Yeah where he is. See, I don't know if his family brought him back home or if he was buried on the prison grounds. Because mm, what it is, is, it's a virtual uh, where you can leave flowers and all that. Oh, cool. And some of the killers like Bundy and all them, they, they, they don't have a, their um, thing open for that because of the misuse. Right. So you can't leave a comment or leave flowers for monsters like that. Oh, you know that Schaefer was in, well, you read it in the book, Schaefer was in prison with Rawling, who killed the girls at the University yes. of Florida. And good old Sandra London. Oh, my God. When I first started looking at her on YouTube, I knew she was a nutcase. Yeah, she's crazier than he was. And they were high school sweethearts. Schaefer and Sandra London were um, high school sweethearts. And she said that she always knew that something was wrong with him then. Uh-huh. Uh, but the thing is, 
she connected back with him simply for notoriety. Yeah. She knew he wasn't going to get out anytime soon. This is the path that Schaefer brought the girls in on from the opposite end. There's a road back through there, and I'm not sure that we can go all the way to the road. Can you imagine? I can imagine a horror. And I'm sure he did it in broad daylight. He didn't do it at night. Oh, he really? did it in broad daylight, I'm sure, yeah. He there was no reason for him not to because there was no way he was yeah. gonna get caught. Wow. I was robbed at gunpoint right after my mother died. Really? And I was scared to death and that has you know. Never that, that will never that's like being raped. It will never yeah. leave you. It doesn't even compare to what a, like a crime that they don't like that goes through. Yeah, because they're, these girls were 16, 17, young, not. What do you call that? Invincible? They think, they, they're, they think they're invincible yes. and they were naive in the ways of the world and the ugliness around them. And again, we're talking, and. These young girls had hitchhiked from Michigan to Biloxi to Florida with no thought of any criminal activity at all affecting them. Yeah, because back then they were no boogeyman. No, I mean people hitchhiked. That's what that's what yeah. kids did. They all hitchhiked. I love the introduction to your book about it, it was uh, well it's on a, a time it, of innocence yes it was a time of innocence and he d he helped destroy that innocence yeah. by his evilness he wasn't crazy oh no he was he was very sane he was just evil brilliantly evil can't believe you slept with a light on that the brilliant insanity oh yeah well, did you figure out... And, and, and that was fiction. It was fiction, exactly. Did you figure it out before you got to the end of the book? No. Totally, totally got you, huh? I was like, oh no. So totally got you. But that, that's why it's so good, too, because you don't know. Uh-uh. And I had one reader say, well, why didn't you expound on... The cops, why didn't you flesh them out? And I said, because the cops were secondary players. Yeah. The two players in this book were the criminal and the reporter. And you don't want to do a whole lot of backstories because you want to keep your reader focused. And I dropped all kinds of hints. I just, uh... That book well, just came out of nowhere. When I read a book like that, I have to read it slow. And I have to ingest everything. Because uh, most books that I read, you get lost in it. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going on on page 20. Well, if you have too many characters, that'll yes. happen. Yes. And I don't, I've read enough books because Jack and I both look, listen to a lot of spy novels. Mm -hmm. And you have too many characters in too many places. Yep. And I figured, I didn't know you, uh, but I knew that you wrote this book, which yep. anybody can read. 